I don't know about you, but I love Heinz baked beans. I crave them on toast, on baked potatoes with cheese. But ever since I started making this copycat recipe, I don't buy them anymore. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make them from dried navy beans for just pennies a serving. And when you use canned navy beans, they only take about 30 minutes to make. It's such an easy recipe with ingredients that are so common. I bet you have them in your pantry right now. I bet when you try this copycat recipe for yourself, you might never crack open another can of Heinz baked beans again. Now right here I have two cups of dry navy beans and this is the most common type of bean used for baked beans. You can also use northern beans, but we're going to use navy beans for this. And you have to do this step the night before you make these baked beans. So it requires a little bit of planning. Right now it's almost my bedtime. I'm going to add these to a nice large bowl. Now here and there you might notice a few discolored beans. See. No big deal, you just pick those out and discard them. And to this, I'm gonna add three times their volume of water to beans, at least. Oh, I still see a couple of discolored ones here and there. Just gonna get rid of those. Now, if you don't wanna do this overnight soak, you don't have to. You can easily use a can of navy beans or two cans, but this is gonna be for anyone that wants to know how to use the dry beans. If you wanna skip this part and go right to the sauce, then go ahead and click to this time right here. Just add a little bit more. We're gonna let those soak overnight, and then we're gonna see what they look like in the morning. And here we are the next morning. Look at how much they grew. You can see the difference between the soaked and the dry. They were thirsty buggers. Now I'm gonna drain off all of that water and give them a really good rinse. You wanna wash all these beans off because, you know, there's probably stuff on them from wherever they came from. Now I'm gonna transfer them into a pot. I'm gonna add some fresh cold water and you only need about maybe twice the volume of water. And one really important thing is do not add any salt to this. Otherwise, the beans could stay hard. Salt has a way of preventing beans from cooking. Now, this here is a pressure cooker that I'm using. You do not need to use a pressure cooker if you don't have one. A pressure cooker is just a lot faster. Okay, so I'm gonna let this come to a boil. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you can do this in a regular pot. It's just gonna take a little bit longer, like 45 minutes to an hour, sometimes longer. If you have an Instapot, now is the perfect time to use that. So I'm gonna let this come to a boil under pressure and this little valve pops up like that. That means it's now cooking under pressure and if you were to open it, you'd probably have a little explosion and your face wouldn't look or feel quite the same. And you're beautiful, you don't wanna change that. After 20 minutes of cooking, you can either let this cool off naturally to release the pressure, or you can just lift this little valve and it'll release the pressure a little more quickly. So we're just gonna do that. Whoa, sorry, didn't mean to steam your face there. Ah, there we go, release that pressure. Wouldn't it be nice if life had a valve like that? All right, now that valve has dropped. So now this is safe to open. Now I'm gonna drain these off. And now you can see that these beans should be super soft. You should be able to squeeze them between your fingers, no problem like that. They should be almost be mushy. Ooh, they're really hot too. Not gonna do that anymore. And you might be happy to know that you can freeze these beans and always have them on hand whenever you wanna make something. So just a good thing to know. All right, now into a fresh pot, we're gonna make our secret copycat Heinz sauce. So we're gonna start off with two cups of veggie stock or chicken stock, one cup of water, two tablespoons of tomato paste, and you can see that I'm pretty much just measuring with my heart. No need to get super exact here. Six tablespoons of ketchup. That's roughly about a third of a cup. Three tablespoons of brown sugar. 
two, three, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire sauce, however you say it, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, but I don't have any today, so I'm just using regular white vinegar. It will also work. One teaspoon of salt. And last but not least, about quarter to half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm not gonna be too exact about this. Just put however much black pepper you like. Now I'm gonna whisk this together really well over medium high heat. You wanna get the ingredients really well blended together before adding the beans. So I'm just gonna let this come to a boil. And as soon as it does, I'm gonna add in the beans. Oh my gosh, that was brutal. I wasn't expecting that. Huh, don't do that when you do it. Oh, my poor camera. Just gonna do a little clean up here. Don't try that at home, folks. All right, I'm just gonna reduce the heat now and let this simmer for about 20 minutes. And while this is simmering, may I remind you quickly that if you're enjoying this video, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you really wanna make my day, which I'm not having the greatest one, as you can see, please feel free to hit that subscribe button too, but no pressure. All right, now that our beans are almost done simmering, we're gonna do the last step to finish off the recipe. So I'm gonna make a quick little slurry to thicken the sauce. Here I have a quarter cup of water, and to that I'm gonna add eight teaspoons of cornstarch. So two tablespoons is six teaspoons, and now we just need two more teaspoons to make it eight. I'm gonna whisk that together really well, and you're gonna wanna do this pretty much immediately when the beans are done simmering. If you let it sit for any length of time, that cornstarch is gonna settle to the bottom and then you just have to re-stir it again. Okay, so once it's all nice and smooth and fluid like this, I'm going to now add it to the beans. And this is going to kind of thicken that sauce. And I'm gonna let it simmer for another five minutes or so, just to cook out that cornstarch and let it do its thing. You can see how this is thickening up beautifully, but not too much. And if you're using canned beans or beans that you already cooked, this really only takes about 30 minutes to whip up. And that makes it really ideal. A lot of traditional recipes for baked beans take hours to make, but this one isn't like that. Once this is all finished cooking, you might wanna taste it to see if you wanna add any more seasonings. But this recipe, if you follow it more or less exactly, should be okay for you. You can add other things to this if you wanna spice it up, if you wanted to add a little barbecue sauce, maybe instead of the ketchup, to give it a bit of a smoky flavor. You can add leftover ham or a little bit of bacon into here if you wanna make it a bit more hearty. At the end of the day, this is your masterpiece. I'm just gonna give these a quick little taste. Mm -mm. Wow, these don't need absolutely anything. They're perfect, just like Heinz baked beans. My favorite way to eat these is on hot buttered toast. Have to get a good amount on there with a fried egg on top. Look at how yummy that looks. Wow. And no word of a lie, this really does taste exactly like the Heinz Beans copycat. Of course, they're really good no matter how you eat them. Mm-mm. Wow. And the really great thing about these beans is you can make a good little batch of them and keep them in your fridge for a few days and enjoy them for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I really hope you'll give this recipe a try. So whenever you wanna serve up some Heinz baked beans and you don't have a can in your cupboard, now you know how to make them yourself.